it's Elizabeth with Callie's Clips and Crochet Creations. I have not gone live in forever and I thought um, today would be a perfect time to go live. So I'm just going to give this a few minutes to kind of build up an audience. Um, this may be a horrible time, um, but I hope you're having a great weekend. It is a beautiful weekend here in Oklahoma. It may have only been a few um, cold degrees this morning, but it's supposed to be almost 70 today. The sunshine's out and it's beautiful. So if you're popping in, don't be afraid to say hello. Let me know if you're crocheting today and what it is. And if not, we're just going to kind of chat. I got a few things here. Um, talk about what's, um, what we've been doing, what's coming up, some fun projects. I'm going to talk about knitting a little bit. <laughs> I've been, I tend to love to knit in January a little bit. Hello, Letitia. So good to have you here. Um, the first thing I want to talk about, of course, if you have not seen this weekend, um, January is celebrating seven months of, seven months, <laughs> seven years of Callie's Clips and Crochet Creations. Hello, Vicki. Hello, Carrie from Central Florida. I've not been to Florida in ages. Uh, I bet it's nice and warm. Oh, cold. It says cold. <laughs> Apparently I can't read. Um, but anyways, we are celebrating seven years of Callie's Clips and Crochet Creations. Did you know we're Callie's Clips because I started out making um, hair clips and then I needed something to put them on. So I got back into crocheting again and that's where Callie's Clips and Crochet Creations comes from. Anyways, if you haven't seen the post this weekend, which I don't think many of you have, thanks to Facebook hiding posts with anything with the word sale in it, <laughs> um, we're having a 77% off sale off all patterns in Ravelry that makes all the patterns at like $1.39 or less. Um, I don't know if anybody's seen it. <laughs> I think like three people have liked it and if people don't like it then people don't see it. It's a horrible metrics I think. Um, I miss the old Facebook. So if you would like a chance to win, thank you Letitia, um, if you'd like a chance to win seven patterns of your choice from my shop, um, what I'd like you to do is go to the pinned post with the sale post and just give it a like, comment what pattern, like one that you would just absolutely love to win. Um, and then I think um, sometime the middle of this week, I'll pick some winners. Maybe I'll pick a couple, like two or three. I don't know, but more than one, because that's no fun. And um, I think I'm going to extend the sale um, through like the first of the month. We'll just let that go through the end of the year here just to kick off um, a great start to January. So I'd love for you to do that. Anyways, um, so let me show you what I've got in front of me, what I've been working on. If you haven't seen, of course, we all know Messy Bun Hats are totally in. Um, give me a thumbs up if you've been making Messy Bun Hats <laughs> or maybe Frowny Face if you're tired of making them. Um, I've made a bajillion of them and I'm thankful for them because it gave me a busy project to work on the last few months. Um, but I took my key tab hat, um, a Saji hat, and I turned it into a messy bun hat. Oh, I love the thumbs up. Um, so I posted a free pattern for that on my blog. This is one, I don't think I took pictures of this one on the blog. This is a colorway. Hello, Petra. It's so nice to see you. I always see you on my mom's videos, so I recognize you. Um, but I found this yarn at Hobby Lobby. If you didn't get to read the blog post, it's just their regular um, I love this yarn, but it's in these beautiful, like, colorways that kind of self-stripe, but they blend in the colorways. I really, really want to use this one. It's hard to see. I, I have horrible lighting in here, and I've got the lights dim, so it wasn't making me shine. <laughs> but this one is in teals and greens, and I want to design something with this one soon. It's so pretty. And then there's another one that's kind of like... Uh, red, orange, white. I don't know. It reminds me of patriotic. So something fun with those. I got to get some more. I only have one of each color. I need to get more. That's just not right. <laughs> um, but this one's my favorite. It's the like the rainbow colorway. It's called Brights. This yarn um, isn't like um, Vicky says she has some of the lighter colors. Don't you love the feel of this yarn? It's not exactly the same texture I'd say as I love this yarn. It's just a hair thinner. Um, but it's so, it's kind of silky, but not too silky. Oh, it's just, it's gorgeous. I made, I'll make sure I'm showing the right one. This is the regular messy bun hats I was making, so I didn't want to get confused. Um, but this is, uh, the ones from my pattern that I just did. But this one is like purples and pinks and blues. And, um, I love these colors. 
Um, and yeah, my hair looks really like orangey pink in here. <laughs> I'm getting ready to fix it. If you followed me for any time soon, you've noticed it's been purple and it's been really fading and I keep going between red and purple and this, um, random fact, this yarn, yarn dye, not yarn dye, this hair dye company contacted me and they're sending me some crazy colors. So like my hair is probably going to be, um, an experiment tomorrow. Well, I might have to show you what color it's going to be next. <laughs> I'm thinking somewhere along the lines of these purples, blues, and pinks. <laughs> Hello, Christine. It's so nice to see you. I hope you guys are having fun. I always feel like I'm like, oh, I gotta talk, I gotta talk. <laughs> but I'm just kind of sharing what's in front of me. So what have I been working on? I've been working on some birthday presents for my niece and enjoying, like I said, some knitting. And um, over the holidays, a friend of mine at, showed me... Um, a washcloth and said, can you make these? Um, my grandmother or her mother had had some a long time ago, but she didn't know anybody that could make them. Well, it turned out they were knit and I'd never seen it before. And they're these, um, they're called, I should block this one, but they're called grandma's washcloth. It's a, it's a really basic knit pattern. If you're learning to knit, I think this would be an absolutely fun project once you're comfortable um, with learning to knit. It, it's done on a diagonal, so you work this way and just get bigger and add stitches. And then it has a cute little border that's worked in as you go. Um, but I made a bunch of these for my mother-in-law as well. They had their kitchen redone and her colors were brown and pink and cream. This one I tried. <laughs> you can't see it. Don't graph in variegated yarns. It actually has like a heart like knit in the middle of this one. So that one was kind of fun, but I wished I'd used um, a different color yarn. Someone's pushing on the door. <laughs> um, but the, um, I tried another variation of that and I love this one. It has a neat little texture. This is probably a little bit more, not advanced, but if you're learning to knit, I don't know if you'd want to learn that, but I'm going to make a blog post about all these this week with, um, some better pictures and I'll link up the patterns if you're interested. And I know these are knit and you may not love that, but there's been a lot of talk on the page in the new year. Um, people always say, I want to learn to knit. So these are great options. And I love washing dishes with knit washcloths. Like it's hard for me to use them because I'm like, oh, they're so pretty, but they work amazing. Better than any store-bought ones ever. I have a whole drawer full of them. So I really, really love these. I'm going to make some more of these for me. These are going to my mother-in-law. The other thing, my mom over at Posh Pooch Designs had sent me home with some scrubby yarn. Hi, Mary. Um, and I did not know what to do with it. I Have you tried to crochet with the scrubby yarn and just get totally frustrated with it? I could not do it. And she's like, Elizabeth, just crochet with another strand of cotton yarn. I was like, oh, that makes so much sense. <laughs> so, um, I don't have a hook with me, but if you have the scrubby yarn, I feel like this is doubled up somewhere. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. But, um, I have been loom knitting and I can basic knit. Awesome. I haven't, I think I loom knit when I was like young, like grade school and I haven't loom knit since, um, well, I guess I kind of have. My daughter has those rubber band bracelets, and that's kind of loom knitting. I don't like scrubby, says Vicky. I didn't either until I learned to do it with another strand so that, like, you could see it a lot easier and work with it. And I, it's still not my favorite, but I made um, just, like, a little scrubby with it. This is a strand of blue and a strand of white. And I knit this, which was even harder like it was hard to see so then <laughs> when I was finished I could see I'd missed some of the blue strands as I went through but it really doesn't matter I think this it's really sturdy and I I, I can't wait to use it I think it's gonna be awesome um, let's see what Mary says it's been a long time since I knitted well you know what if you need to learn again pick these up so this is just a smaller this is the normal like I think it's six by six washcloth and I, I just kind of eyeballed a quarter size of that so I'll have to try it. Oh yeah, absolutely. You can crochet with one strand. Um, there's just something about knitting washcloths I got excited about. So, but the last thing I have to show you, oh, it's so cute. Um, this is, um, my niece is going to be two and her mom just bought her this cute little play kitchen. And so I was like, well, what does she need? And she's like, well, she has dishes and she has, um, some play food and everything. So I thought she needs an apron. So I have a pattern, I had several patterns saved, but I decided on one from Daniel Pink Designs. Um, I cannot remember the name of this. I will link it for sure. Um, but it's a cute, oh, so easy, wonderful pattern. 
um, for an apron. It's so cute and small. Um, it had a pocket on it already. I added a ruffle and I added the heart and then I added a ruffle on the bottom. Um, and then it has a simple tie. But the pattern is so easy to make. I made it in, a, in an evening and just um, used some colors I had on hand. So I hope that she'll love it. And of course, every little kitchen isn't complete unless a little one has her little... Um, hot pads, little scrubbers too. So for just for fun play, I made, of course, I knit some more. And again, I used the, uh, the, uh, the granny's, um, washcloth. I think it's what it's called. Grandma's washcloth. And I just made smaller versions. And then I added, just kept knitting like a long loop and sewed it down. So I had some pink variegated cotton. So she'll have a little apron and little scrubbies to hang in her kitchen. So hopefully she'll like that. She's so little, I don't think she'll care, but I know my daughter thought it was just adorable. So I'll link those up. I have a book on play food that I got over Christmas that there's a blog link on. I made like turkey. I was going to say, oh, here's one. I'm in my, my daughter's room is my yarn room in our new house. So we share Bessie, like we had play food. Now this isn't for her, but that book, I wish I could remember the name of the book. I'll link that up too. Um, but I was going to make her some play food, but I'm running out of time. <laughs> so um, I want to read some of your comments. That's pretty much all I have to show. Um, but I'll talk to that in a minute. Let's see. Vicki says, that's cute. I love the apron. I bought my granddad a kitchen set to play with. Oh, we'll have to make three so they don't fight over it. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. My daughter's like, I need one. Every time I make something for my niece or one of the cousins of the kids, I'll want one. Like I had made some pony hats the other day for an order that came in. And my daughter's like, well, I need a new pony hat. <laughs> so she's been begging me to make her a new pony hat, which she needs one anyway. She's getting bigger. So anyway, so check out, um, if you're still looking for maybe a different messy bun hat pattern, check out, um, the freebie on the blog. I also, I'm trying something new of making YouTube videos. Um, I made, um, some video tips and helps, um, for some of the stitches there. And I'm hoping to make some more recordings of, some of my other freebie patterns. If there's any patterns there you would like, let me know um, and I will try to make videos. I've got a few that I've had questions on that need some help. Um, so I want to work on those. Let's see. Brandy says, it sounds like my grandson. Every time we make him something, he or make something, he thinks it's his. Um, oh, Letitia, thank you. Um, my daughter is a sweetheart. They're both getting so big, which is fun because she's, um, she's seven. So I started the business um, the same time as I was pregnant with her. She's the reason for it. So I'm thankful for that. So anyways, don't forget about the sale. Um, go comment on the pinned post. It should be the picture with the sale graphic, 77% off. Use the code seven and all patterns are $1.39 or less. You can't get any, any cheaper than that. <laughs> I don't think, um, we've had a sale too much lower. Um, so yeah, comment on that post and I'm going to pick, um, two or three winners, um, around the first, first or second. We'll leave that up. I'm going to extend that sale to go ahead and go through the end of the month because I just don't think anybody saw it. Um, other than that, I've got things planned, things coming. I just got to get to work. We've got new schedules around the house. Hubby's not on nights anymore. And, um, so that's a blessing for us here. So just some changes, adjusting, and I'll get back into the swing of things for this awesome eighth year of work. So thanks so much for chatting with me today. Does anybody have any questions? Any, I'm losing my light. I feel like I'm getting pinker by the second. <laughs> Um, but if not, I don't see anything. I think that'll be it. So thanks for joining me today. It's been fun to talk to you. I'd love to schedule these more on a regular basis. I think it would be so fun to get to know you guys better. Anyways, have a wonderful Sunday. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.